Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I'm back today with a lesson that was suggested by a user. Today, my friends, we are going to make a motorcycle. So, let's get cracking! Step one, of course, is to click that Create New Design. Of course, we need to name it. I'm going to type in Motorcycle. And I'm going to put V3 because I've made a few before I got one ready for you. Let's start with the tires by moving down to the torus. When you get the torus, hold down shift and drag it, then type the number 40 for the size of that wheel. Let's quickly make it black so it looks like a tire. Double check that it is 10 millimeters thick. Double check that you have 40 on every side so we're starting out the same. Let's take care of the center of our wheel with a sweet tube. When you bring out the tube, we're going to type some numbers. I want 15 and I want 12. Click the height of that shape and change it to 2. Drag a box to select both shapes and let's use the align tool. Click on the black wheel. We're going to do this a lot where we pick the shape that is the middle and align those in both those directions and on the up and down. Remember, if you're looking at it from a corner, quite often it's easier to see middle, middle, middle. Let's real quickly add our little axle as well. We're going to do that with a simple cylinder. When you bring out the cylinder, I want you to hold shift and I want you to shrink it down and type the number six so that it's six on every side. I'd like you to make it 15 for the thickness this way. And then I'd like you to turn the bevel on to two you can drag it or you can type a number whichever you prefer segments one is fine and I want the sides I want it to be round so I'm gonna go 64 once again I'm grabbing all three shapes I'm clicking the center button I'm saying hey I care about the tire and you can see how easy it is to go middle middle in those two directions we're gonna center it the other way in just a moment right now let's grab it and let's do duplicate so we've got two wheels this will be the front wheel this will be the back wheel. I'm just selecting and moving those back. We'll align them in a minute. All right, friends, I want my front wheel to be a little smaller than the back, so I'm going to hold down Shift, and I'm going to shrink it to 35. I like to type the numbers so it gets there exactly. And then I'm going to go back to that thickness of 10 because I do want it the same width. You can do that however you want. Once you've got them done, I want you to once again center them, making sure you click the black tire to say that is the part I want to go around. And then we want to stand all of these up. When we stand it up, make sure you're looking at it from a corner so you can see this rotation handle. And we want to go 90 degrees and hit D so they drop to the right height. Once again, rotate 90 degrees and D so they drop to the height of the work plane. Notice our little axle hub is not lined up. This is where we fix that. Center them all by grabbing them all, hitting a line, and the one we care about this time is the tire and the middle. That assembly is all put together, so right now I would like you to group them. There's our first one grouped and our second one grouped. We do want to turn on multicolor so that it looks a little bit more nifty. And our tires are put together. Friends, it is time to make our front fork, and let's do that using the sweet tube. When you bring out the tube, let's type the radius 2 so that it is an exact size. Do the wall thickness of 1, and we need to make a length of 50, which I am going to simply type in this box. And then I want you to grab that rotation handle, and instead of rotating it 45, I want you to rotate it 35. Take that first one and do Control d and then we want to move it across about 15 millimeters when you've got them both and they fit on the sides of your spokes. So make sure that they're just barely touching. I'm going to nudge that back one. And I'm going to nudge this over one so there's a gap between them. Real quickly, I'm going to drag these two up here where I touch just the orange ones. And I'm going to group them. Hold control and tap the up arrow to nudge them up and then use your arrow keys to get them exactly where you want. Friends, it is time to connect these two pieces together. Check out this cool technique. If we hit work plane and click the flat edge, bring out a box and then we need to type the numbers. Let's give it a radius of two so it rounds the edges. Skip down to the length and make it 12. I want the width to be 28 
and I want the height to be two or three. I'm gonna do three for mine, and then I'm gonna nudge this into place with the arrow keys so it looks kinda good. And at this point, I want you to do control down arrow 10 times. That is a good place for our connector. I'm gonna click back on the work plane. I'm gonna look at it from the back, and once again, let's use the trick where we grab everything, click center, click the tire we care about, and align it. With your work plane down here, we're gonna find an amazing tool under featured called the bent pipe. When you bring out the bent pipe, we are gonna change some numbers. Simply type a three and a one for the sizes. Leave your arc diameter at 30, but change your bend angle to 25. Make your first lead in 10. Don't forget to press enter on these and we'll leave this one at 20 for how far it extends. Take your handlebar and rotate it 90 degrees and you can see that this is going to attach it eventually right up here. Let's use control up to raise it up to the, about the right location. Once you get it up, you can use your arrow keys to nudge it close. We're not worrying about perfect right now, we're just getting it a little bit in line. Friends, we've got our cool handlebar, now we need to add the sweet throttle grip. To do that, click your work plane and make sure you land right on this flat edge. Bring out a cylinder and attach it as close as you can to that spot. We do want it to probably be totally round. I am also gonna make it black real quick. We wanna hold down shift and shrink it and we wanna go till size 5.5 is the number that we have. And then let's look at it from the side and change this distance to two. So you can see that's gonna be the inside of the throttle grip. Get it close to the end of your shape and then you can tell if you're perfect by doing control down and sliding it on the handlebar. Click that sweet little fit view and I'm gonna rotate so I can see better. You can see I'm a little bit too far below. I'm gonna fix that by changing my grid to 0.1 and there I can line that up so it looks just a little bit more perfect. It's not 100% but it's so close that it doesn't matter. All right friends, this is where it gets super slick. Do duplicate and then do control up arrow to move it out to the end. Grab the center and stretch it really, really long. Trust me, go crazy on the size. Switch to point one, and then we are gonna hold down alt and shift. And when you do, it gets smaller around the middle till it almost touches the purple. Then you can do your control down arrow to nudge it into perfect place, and you've just made a sweet hand grip. Grab those three pieces. Make sure it says three pieces and group them. Of course, turn on multicolor so it looks more cool. I'm also gonna say switch your grid back to size one because that is more handy. We need to put this on both sides. So we're gonna put our work plane back down to the ground. We're gonna do duplicate, which is control D. And when you hit flip, notice it immediately flips and then you can just nudge it across to the other side to get it where you want it. I'm gonna get them close to the middle. If you want to make sure it's perfect, perfect, once again, you can do that little nudge. And I'm just watching for these two to be exactly aligned. Right now, I'm gonna hold down shift and click both, and then I'm gonna group them so my handlebar is now one sweet, awesome handlebar. I'm gonna make sure everything's aligned by grabbing the whole motorcycle, clicking the line, once again saying, hey, it's the tire I care about, and putting it all in the center. We have now got a motorcycle with handlebars. It is time to add our sweet engine cage. Friends, bring out a cylinder, hold down shift, shrink it a little, and then we wanna type the number four for how large that is, but we want it to be 40 long. So I stretch it to any number I want, and then I make it 40. We're gonna need two of these, so do control D and say, take the second one and lay it down. Hit D to drop it to the ground level. We need to line these up so they connect and I find the best way is to just simply use the arrow keys. Notice I'm switching back to that size one grid and I'm just getting them so that these two pieces join up. We're gonna need another one of these pieces for the middle, so I'm gonna do control D. I'm gonna just move it aside for later. Grab these two pieces and we need to group them. 
From the front side, I want you to also rotate it, once again, 22 and a half degrees. We're gonna connect two of these together, do Control D, start moving the other one across, but this time, I want you to find that amazing flip tool, and we want it to flip this way. When you've got those two lined up pretty slick, I'm gonna move mine over just a little more. So now they come together just like that. I want you to take the two of them and this piece across the back and connect them together. So notice I rotate that to 90 degrees. I'm gonna move it into place. And then down here, I'm gonna use this sweet little black handle so that it's the exact right size. We're gonna use another one of these later. So I'm gonna do Control D and set it aside. And let's take these three pieces and let's group them. The easiest way is to grab your current motorcycle and hide it so then you can easily see those tubes and bam, you've got one sweet group. Use the show all to bring everything back and let's put our parts together. Notice we grab them all, click a line, pick that tire that we're centering on and then boom, all of a sudden your engine cage is in the middle of your vehicle like it's supposed to be. The only thing we need to do is do control up to raise it up in the air so it's off the ground. I don't want it to run into this red piece so I'm making sure it's below that. I also need to move my tire back. This is where we start to do those kinds of adjustments so that it all fits the way we want. I want this pipe to be a little higher so I'm also gonna real quickly ungroup this. So I'm gonna click on that one piece that is too low and I'm gonna raise it up till I'm happy. If you wanna be perfect, you can do that 0.1 millimeter grid and then also use that sweet fit view to make sure you're really the way you want. I do like that, so now I'm gonna zoom back out and regroup those pieces together. For the engine of our sweet little vehicle, let's go down and find the polygon. When you bring the polygon out, we wanna to switch to a five-sided shape. You can drag it or type it whichever way you want. Then we want to flip it over so that it's got that sweet little kind of engine block look. Bring it in the middle of your vehicle and hold down shift and stretch it till it looks the size you want your engine to be. Mine's gonna be in the 27 range and then I'm gonna to switch to one millimeter and use control up arrow to raise it up into the engine cavity. I think that's pretty darn neat. I do wanna make sure it's all centered. So once again, I'm gonna select it all, hit a line, click on that tire and pick the middle button. I'm gonna use the black handle to nudge it back a little bit. I'm gonna put that right there. And I'm happy with that. That's gonna work for the vehicle I'm making. Let's add a seat really, really quickly by going out to the all shapes and I want you to go all the way out to page number 16. When you get out here, there are some sweet shapes that we can use. I am gonna use the new banana for my seat. When I bring it out, you can see it's oriented the wrong way. I'm gonna switch that so it's oriented the correct way. Once again, I'm gonna grab everything. I'm gonna do a line, I'm gonna tell it it's the tire I want it aligned to, and now that seat is in the right location. I'm gonna do control up to raise it up in the air. I'm going to make it wider. I'm gonna make it thinner till it looks like the seat that I want. I'm gonna do a second one of them, so I'm gonna do control D, and I'm gonna use the black handle to push the back towards the back, and I'm gonna make it like a backrest which is just kind of a cool touch. I'm gonna to give it a little bit of a slope, making sure that it's just like I want. And then once again, I'm gonna grab the entire bike and I'm gonna do that align tool, retelling it that I care about that back tire or the front tire for how it's aligned. I'm gonna do control up so that seat is exactly how I want it. Notice there's nothing hanging underneath anymore. And then I'm gonna grab those two pieces. So I'm only selected them and I wanna group them and I'm gonna give them a cool color. I'm gonna make them like brown leather, like I've got a brown leather seat on my motorcycle. We need a gas tank for our motorcycle. I am gonna use the Bezier Bean. It is just kind of different. You can use all kinds of amazing shapes. Once again, I'm gonna stretch it just a little bit to make it look like that crazy gas tank that I want. I'm gonna select everything again and do the align, telling it, hey, it's the tire I care about. There's that middle. 
Now I can raise up my gas tank, get it so it's close to where I want. Once again, I'm just doing control up, and then I'm using the arrow keys to nudge it into place. I'm gonna stretch that further out, wider, and then I'm gonna do the align to get that perfect. Center, yo, it's the tire I care about, and bam, I have now got a pretty sweet gas tank in the center of my motorcycle. I'm gonna move this tube to the side just because I keep grabbing it and it's silly. I'll show you what we're gonna use it for later. And I wanna add a gas cap. To do the gas cap, I'm gonna go back to basic shapes and I'm just gonna bring out a cylinder. I'm gonna drop it flat on the work plane. I'm gonna hold down shift and shrink it and I'm gonna say I want my gas cap to be seven. I'm gonna do the center again with the tire, always telling it it's the tire I care about. And then I'm gonna take that little gas cap and I'm gonna do control up till it pops up out of my vehicle. And I'm gonna pull it back to the location I want. I'm gonna turn on the bevel because I want it to be a bevel of two. And you can see that looks pretty sweet. It's just too tall and I can shrink it. You could also just do control down and control up till you are happy as well. Real quickly, let's use this pipe rotated 90 degrees so that we can attach our back wheel to the frame. On a real motorcycle, this would have a sweet hinge. Uh, we're just gonna rotate this and I'm gonna tell you to rotate it 14 degrees. And then when you do control up, you can move it into place and see if that fits. This would be hinged on a real motorcycle. Ours isn't gonna be real, but it'll still be pretty sweet. When you find that height and angle that you like, do control D and then simply nudge it across and line it up on the other side so that your back wheel is attached as well. I'm happy with those, so I'm gonna click on my frame. I'm gonna hold down shift and click on that new piece and the second new piece, so it says three shapes, and I'm gonna group them so they're attached. You could also create a frame across here to hold up the seat. I am not gonna do this in the video because I think by now I've given you enough skills. You can handle that on your own. I am gonna show you how to add sweet pipes out of our motorcycle. My friends, check this out. We are gonna to return to featured. We are gonna bring out that bent pipe. We're gonna type in numbers again. This time our numbers are gonna be eight and press enter and two and press enter. We are going to rotate this guy 90 degrees so that he'll stick into our engine block. And we're going to rotate him 45 degrees so that it'll be out at a cool angle. Notice this is going to connect in here in a minute. We want two of these though, so do control D. Click on the flip so that the second one flips the other way. And then I don't care which way you move them, just nudge them so that they come close to join in and then select the two of them and group them. We're gonna take this entire assembly and we're gonna align it. When you grab them all, don't forget to click the tire, click align and click center. So that part is now stuck in your engine. We're gonna do control up to raise it up to where we think it looks cool and nudge it back. That's gonna be where my engine pipes are, but I want them to tilt up a little bit. So now I'm gonna do a custom turn of like eight, nine, 10 degrees. That's the start of our sweet pipes coming out of our engine. Grab that work plane tool and connect it to one of the pipes. Real quickly return to the basic shapes and let's find our tube so that this stays hollow. When we bring it out, this time we're gonna type the number four. I'm gonna use the number one so that the pipe has a large opening. And then I'm gonna to choose to stretch these all the way back here to 40 in length. I am not gonna put it on this side until I'm all done because the next part is a little bit cooler. I am gonna make sure that I line this up. Notice I'm just nudging it into place, getting it as close as I can. If you wanna use that point one and fit view, you may. That is up to you to see how perfect you want it. All right, so with those micro nudges, I've now got that lined up really sweet. Let's add an awesome end to our tailpipe by going to the all shapes and moving all the way out to page eight. 
quickly hit that work plane button and connect it to the flat end to bring out the high resolution end. When we change this, let's make our height uh, 12 and press enter. Let's make the diameter of the top 15 and press enter. When you do this, you'll notice it changes this part right here. And then the diameter of the bottom connects to our pipe. Remember that was size eight. So when we press enter, uh, that'll match up perfectly. Since we haven't connected these, you can hold down shift and click on the tube. If you click on a line and then choose the tube, this time you can do center and center like you normally would. Let's group those two pieces together. I'm gonna hold shift and click them both. And when I hit group, they become one piece. And then we wanna move them over here if we do control D. Switch back to our one millimeter grid. We can just use the arrow to nudge them across and they should line up really easily and really quickly. Now we can hold down shift and click on that last piece and the first piece and we can group them. And once they're all one piece, I'm gonna make them a sweet exhaust color. Instead of green, I'm gonna switch to a sweet little gray color. And friends, check it out. You have just made an amazing motorcycle. There is no limit to the cool stuff you add, sweet rock mountains, all kinds of things to make it just look unbelievably cool. Friends, if you do make something cool, if you take time to share it with us on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter, we are at HL Mod Tech, and it always is cool to see how you guys have done this. Don't forget, this was an item that somebody said, hey, can you make a motorcycle on the bottom of one of my videos in a comment? So bam, I did. If you add a comment and you're interested in something, there's a chance I'll take time to actually make it. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit the notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.